All right, so back to our back to our program. So with this design, now this is, and yes, we'll discuss this tomorrow night. This is a type of variable valve actuator that we refer to as camshaft torque activated. And a camshaft torque activated VVT is going to be a VVT that doesn't physically use oil pressure to advance or retard the cam. It uses the dynamic inertia of the camshaft to do that. Once again, a better description tomorrow night. But I have a couple comments here before we go too much further. I told you. If you were listening in the beginning of this class, that you do your research, you find out if special tools are required, and dang it, you either get the special tools and follow the procedures or don't do the job. Well, here's an example of where if you don't have the right tools to do this. Now, guys, this picture, if you care, is a 3.6 Pentastar motor from Chrysler. You might have recognized the little uh, Mopar star on here. But the bolt that holds the gear to the camshaft is a hollow bolt and inside this hollow bolt is a spool valve and i want you to think about something if you didn't properly torque this bolt and hold the fixtures you could cause this to twist or cause the board to not be straight anymore and that valve is going to bind up inside it plus many of these design bolts guys they're torqued to yield and should only be used once now i'm going to show you a quick video of uh how you guys should be looking at these. Now, in this picture right here, what I'm doing is I'm just making sure that the spool valve operates freely and cleanly. It doesn't get stuck or hung up in there. And you'll notice that as I depress these and let them release, we're only moving about a quarter inch and that's all that's necessary. But as I sit here and I look at this video, you know, a, a thought's coming to my mind of a car I worked on. Oh, it's been a couple of years now, but we had a Mercedes. We had a Mercedes six-cylinder that came from another shop in town, and they had done a complete timing set on it, and uh, it was setting VVT codes, and they took it back apart, and they put it back together. All the marks line up. All the marks line up. And so we get the thing in the shop, and it had not exactly the same size, uh, same type of actuators, but there was a spool valve in the bolt that held the camshafts on. And the first thing I did, I want to see if they moved. I moved one of them. It got stuck and didn't come out again. I'm like, dude, this thing's all screwed up. I had to kind of tap on it and move it. They had screwed the parts and pieces up, putting it back on. I'm like, dang it. You got to pay attention. So at any rate, guys, make sure your spool valves move smoothly, cleanly.